Hey guys, my name is Ben Porter and I'm the Campaigns Coordinator for Kent Union for 2014-15. to uh, For this training session I'll be focusing on how you can run a fantastic campaign uh, for Kent Union and for your society. So, why campaign? Well, campaigning is at the heart of Kent Union. Um, it's effectively in everything uh, that we do in terms of delivering positive change for you as students uh, at the University of Kent. It can be from anything from better library resources uh, to uh, more space, more funding uh, for your society, uh, for example. It could be anything that's kind of relating to the student experience. For your role as, as part of the society executive, you'll be representing students uh, and student groups as a whole, so it's important to recognise what those students uh, are, are really affected by, what those key issues are, and also for your society as a whole, how you can uh, bring your society together to deliver a really great campaign on campus. So, there are five steps to a really great campaign. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that these particular five steps are all linear, so it has to, you have to kind of value it in terms of um, each uh, step as being a really key stage. So, the first stage is analysis. So that's really recognising, uh, firstly, what your, what your key issue is uh, in terms of your student group, um, understanding who it is that you'll be addressing, so through your audience, understanding what your message is, your aims, your potential recommendations, and also your strengths and your challenges in order to basically overcome those issues and be able to deliver a really great campaign. Then comes the actual planning stage. So once you recognise what your issue is and how you feel like you'll be able to resolve it, you'll be able to set up um, sort of key uh, sort of tasks throughout the academic year, being able to meet physically um, through through meetings and through kind of working groups, um, and also being able to monitor um, the the work and the progress that you'll be making uh, throughout the academic year. So through that, it could be setting up project plans, um, action plans, task sheets that you'll be looking to review and sort of recognise. Um, could be weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, etc. Within that, you'll also be looking um, towards research as well. So being able to generate evidence and sort of a, generate a really key, mes uh, strong message um, for your campaign is absolutely essential. So research could come through simply through external research. It could be through um, what, what happens um, at other universities at a local, regional, national level that focuses on supporting your campaign as a whole. But it also could be through speaking to your student groups and speaking to the students as a whole as well. Getting, um, listening to them and recognising their voice and how it's important to campus. So this could be through surveys, uh, through focus groups and through simple liaisons as well with them. So setting up meetings and kind of understanding um, sort of the key issues and key statistics and personal evidence that you can, you can generate. Then comes the interesting stuff, that's through publicity. So that's recognising the amount of research and, um, and planning that you have being able to really sort of promote it um, both on campus and online and through your community, uh, basically wherever necessary in order to recognise uh, who, uh, how to uh, deliver your campaign to your audience. So it could be through simple social media, so through Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Vine, any other kind of creative outlet that you can think of. Um, it could be through news articles and working with student media to set up kind of um, particular sort of news features. Um, and it could be through events, and even things like films and public promotion, so going out on campus um, and just sort of really sort of engaging with, uh, with other students. And then finally comes to delivery, so um, that could be through um, a report, it could be through um, a petition, or it could even be through sort of the real sort of extremes of actually sort of holding uh, protests where necessary. So um, it's absolutely essential to kind of value delivery as the accumulation of all the evidence and um, all the publicity that you've that you've uh, accumulated within your campaign. Being able to really sort of um, send that to the to the relevant person um, or organisation so that really positive change can be made. Cool. So we'll focus a bit more deeper on each of these points. So the campaign anal analysis. The first step really is deciding what you should be campaigning on. Um, obviously campaigning in terms of your student group or your society um, is not only a really fantastic way to really sort of create positive change um, on both on campus or within your community, but it could also be a really great way 
of um, sort of generating more publicity for your student group or your society and for other people and also for your student group as a whole as well, really recognising what they're doing. Um, so you should be thinking about the issues that you face um, as a student um, but also within society and in general really it's the key issues that you that you feel um, are necessary. So if it's a volunteering or any kind of campaigning uh, or political society um, that you're involved in, it could be focusing on the key issues from a national or regional level. But if it's for you as a society, it could be um, quite simply speaking within your committee and recognising certain issues on campus or within your community that, you, that you'd like to uh, really sort of target and really sort of campaign on. Cool. So, looking into campaign planning. So, once deciding on the campaign, the best, um, the most essential part really of your of your overall campaign is being able to plan your overall delivery. So, uh, one of the key things that I think is really necessary um, is setting out progress plans for each. For um, it could be weekly or it could be monthly, it could be termly. So, what I mean by progress plans is effectively setting out the tasks um, that are needed or you feel are required in order to successfully deliver your campaign. So, it could be a simple things such as. Um, contacting um, relevant organisations, it could be through um, setting up marketing materials um, or it could be through setting up events, things like that, really sort of delving into um, what is absolutely necessary in terms of fulfilling your, um, fulfilling your campaign. Um, so through that it's also important to understand and assign responsibility um, for your campaign, so recognising uh, particular roles and particular responsibilities and then understanding the deadline for which those particular um, uh, tasks should be uh, completed and the percentage for which they can be completed can be a really great way of monitoring um, the uh, particular goals that you have and, and uh, how you can monitor for each, for each week, month, term. Cool. So, campaign research. So. Uh, like, like I've said, so ultimately, student feedback could be the, your um, your biggest sort of asset um, in terms of delivering your campaign. So, um, one of the key things that we do is sort of setting out um, surveys and focus groups to really recognise both the statistical, but also the kind of emotional evidence that we have in terms of really sort of recognising why this campaign is important and why change should be made. So. Um, setting out surveys can be a really great way of asking key questions that can support your campaign and it's really important that in terms of those questions and the answers that you expect to receive um, that it really relates back to your overall argument because in terms of when you're writing your report your evidence um, is, is there to support your overall argument at all times. Cool. So campaign publicity is the really is the really good fun stuff. So um, it could be through holding events. Um, so event events can be at any kind of particular level. So um, in the past we've we've ran really big sort of uh, concerts on campus to sort of raise awareness. But we've also done loads of stalls as well and awareness events um, around the plaza. We've done things like art projects, um, music events, performing arts events, um, and you know anything really that sort of generates particular interest and you can really promote and really um, sort of recognise as being a key point to, watch, to your campaign. It's a fantastic way for which you can um, generate additional feedback as well and get more people supporting your campaign. There's other ways in which you can sort of generate feedback and it's important to recognise that things through such as social media, 22% of overall global online uh, use is through Facebook and Twitter as a whole and it really does sort of underpin um, just how uh, huge and just how important that is uh, in terms of uh, communication uh, in our society. So it's important to recognise that you can use that as a way to not only generate awareness into your campaign but show a kind of campaign journey and sort of promote your campaign uh, continuously as it, as, it, as it goes. Cool. Then look at campaign delivery, so once all those stages are completed, the final stage is effectively delivering your campaign report or um, any kind of addition towards that. So um, effectively your campaign report will outline um, the aims of your campaign, um, why your campaign is important, what the current issue is, um, 
the findings and also the methodology for which we're able to accumulate those findings. Um, so you can really see there how those other stages really sort of fundamentally support your overall final delivery of your of your campaign. So um, within the report, your ultimate kind of final message will be your recommendations for improvement, for change, even for conservation. So um, addressing the issue, showing how you're able to um, generate feedback, showing the findings and the evidence for that particular issue, and showing how that can be improved. All of those things will be generated into the report and delivered to um, the relevant um, person, organisation, authority. So if it's, it could be here at the university, it could be to university personnel, it could be to academic staff or um, departments, things like that. But it could also be at a local or even national community level as well. So it could be to um, governing agencies, uh, to particular councils. Um, anyone that you feel that in terms of your campaign, absolutely essential that they are the ones that are understanding their mess this message that you're, that you're giving, understanding the issue, understanding who it's coming from, who's supporting the campaign, um, who's really sort of acknowledging um, you know, why this campaign is important. And then overall, finally, delivering it, presenting it, um, and hopefully coming to a conclusion where you're able to um, actually sort of deliver really positive change um, for, for all of the work that you've been done. So, there's obviously plenty of campaigns that happen uh, at Kent Uni throughout the academic year. So um, I've got a kind of a few kind of examples here on, on the board and really these are kind of very various as well. So um, it could be anything from awareness campaigns on particular um, issues. It could be mental health, it could be disability, LGBT, uh, it could be any kind of human rights issue, anything like that that really you feel is really important. These are the things that we do campaign on um, throughout the academic year um, and it's great that you can be aware of them and really see how you as a society can support those and use them as a way to really generate your own personal publicity um, and really see how you can network and sort of generate interest perhaps in your campaigns and the work that you're doing as well. Um, so it could be through supporting events, it could be through conducting focus groups, um, through supporting surveys and things like that really that kind of really sort of generate um, particular kind of support and, um, and interest on the campaigns that we do um, as a whole. Um, one of the things to bear in mind as well um, over the, over the next, couple, next few years, um, campaigning is going to be more and more accessible um, for, uh, for you as students at, at Kent Union. Um, the new system will be set up for September 2015 that will allow you um, as students, but also as student groups, um, to submit ideas for campaigning um, and it could be anything that you feel is a major issue. Those will be voted on uh, online um, and if they're passed, if, if uh, they generate enough votes, they'll be sent to a campaign forum where they will be debated and kind of worked on um, and which for you as submitter of that idea will be effectively leading on in terms of that campaign. So it's really exciting prospects ahead um, for campaigning at Kent Union. I hope this training was useful for you and best of luck with all the campaigning you'll be doing. Finally, I want to leave with this quote. So this is from uh, Margaret Mead, who's a famous uh, anthropologist. Um, uh, during the 1960s. Um, this is a quote that I kind of, um, I use for all of the training that I give in terms of campaigning. I think it's a great way, um, and it's a great kind of indication of what you can do really as student, as student groups and societies. So there's never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you.